A pleasant day, my dear learners. Once again, I'm Ang Felicita and Amor, your TLE Cookery Pen teacher for the day. Come, and let's explore another episode of Facebook Live Stream Week 6. Our lesson for today will focus on Prepare and Cook Seafood Dishes with the topic Perform Recent Class. Our learning outcome number one is Perform Recent Class with three sub-skills. 1.1, Prepare Tools and Equipment Based on Required Standards. 1.2, Identify Types, Varieties, Market forms, nutritive value, and composition of fish and seafood. And 1.3, assemble ingredients according to recipes, recipe card, or enterprise standards. At the end of our discussion, you should be able to number one. Identify the different market forms of fish and shellfish. Number two, use appropriate kitchen tools and equipment in preparing and cooking seafood dishes. Number three, show enthusiasm in preparing various market forms of fish and shellfish. How are you today? I hope that you are good. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your day. Make sure to have your learning module, pen, and paper with you. Before we proceed to our discussion, let's have a short review on the five simple steps for following the FIFO or first in, first out procedure. Number one, locate vegetables with as soon as best before or use by dates. Number two, Remove vegetables that are past these dates or damage. Number three, place vegetables with the soonest dates at the front. Number four, stock new vegetables behind the front stock. And number five, use or sell vegetables at the front first. All right, I am pleased that you learned a lot from our previous lesson. So now, are you all ready to learn? That's great. Let's proceed. Seafood is any form of sea life regarded as food by humans. There are so many methods of cooking seafood. Most of them are fast and easy, making them the perfect choice for a quick and healthy meal. This lesson is intended to develop your knowledge in tools and equipment needed in preparing and cooking seafood dishes. You will also learn about classifications, characteristics, and market forms of fish and shellfish. Before we move further, let's play a game. It's four picks, one word. Are you excited? All right. Here's the directions. Fill in the missing letters to form a word or words using the four displayed images. You are given five seconds to answer each item. Type your answers on the comment box below or you may write them on your activity notebook. So, let's begin with number one. Your timer starts now. If your answer is seafood four, then you are correct. Next. Number two for five seconds. The correct answer is crab mallet. Next. For number three, your five seconds starts now. If your answer is fish is skillet, that's correct. Good job. Next. For number four, 
for five seconds. If your answer is fish knife, that's exactly right. Last number. For number five, your timer starts now. If your answer is oyster knife, then you are correct. Thank you so much, my dear students, for your active involvement. Good job. To start our lesson, what's the difference between tool and equipment? A tool can be any item, especially one held in the hand, used to carry out a particular function. While equipment is most commonly refers to a set of tools that are used to achieve a particular objective. Different jobs require different kinds of equipment. Some kitchen tools and equipment used in preparing and cooking seafoods are the following. Number one, fish turner. It has a long, flexible head that can slide under delicate fish without breaking it. It is also called fish spatula or flipper. Number two, fish knife. It is a long, narrow blade knife that is used to cut neatly between skin and meat. It is used for dressing, serving, and eating fish. Number three, seafood pork. It is a stainless steel pork designed for two-ended use, for getting bit of meat out of crab and lobster shells. Number four, fish skillet. It has textured bottom that releases seafood easily. Another tool is shrimp devainer. It is used to safely, quickly, and neatly devein, butterfly, and peel shrimp. The vein is to remove the intestinal black vein when preparing either cooked or raw shrimp. Number six is crab mullet. It cracks shells and claws without shuttling them into the meat. It is a perfect tool for opening lobster and crabs. Number seven is claw cracker. It cuts the claws or legs rather than cracking them which makes the meat easier to remove. Another kitchen tool is oyster knife. It has a slightly bent tip that makes it easier to pry oyster shells open. Pry means to pull apart, extract, or detach. All right, next is seafood skimmer. Is it a tool or equipment? Of course, it's an equipment. It is used for a quick skin fish and vegetables. The last is fish poacher. For a hands of approach to poaching everything, from fish to beef to vegetables, one definite advantage of poaching is that the food you cook will turn out succulent and tender, which is certainly a desirable outcome for fish. Different species of seafood are adapted from different habitats. Here are the classifications of seafood. Number one, thin fish. And number two, shell fish. Thin fish are fish with fins and internal skeletons. Letter A, saltwater fish. Letter B, freshwater fish. Saltwater fish, also called marine fish, are fish that live in ocean water. Saltwater fish can swim and live alone or in a large group called a school. There are two kinds of saltwater fish. First is flat fish. They are flat in shape, both eyes are one side, white in color and belly side. Examples are flounder. And then the other one is sole. Another kind of saltwater fish is round fish. They are round in shape, 
eyes are on either side. Examples are black sea bass. Take note, that is sea bass. There's a typo error in our learning module. Another example is blue fish. Next, cod. And last example of round fish is the grouper. Another kind of fin fish is freshwater fish. Freshwater fish are those that spend some or all of their lives in fresh water, such as rivers and lakes, with a salinity of less than 1.05%. These environments differ from marine conditions in many ways. The most obvious being the difference in levels of salinity. Examples are catfish or hippo in Filipino. Another example is eel. Last of freshwater fish is tilapia. Another classification of seafood is shellfish. They are fish with external shells but no internal bone structure. They have hard outer shells. Categories are mollusks and crustaceans. Mollusks are soft sea animals. These are shellfish with hard, inedible shells. We have three kinds of mollusks. First is bivalves. They have a pair of hinged shells. Examples are oyster. Another bivalve's examples are clams. Clams are a very nutritious whole food with a host of health benefits. They are a lean source of protein, are rich in minerals, vitamins, and omega-3 fatty acids. They have been found to possess cancer-preventing property. Another kind of mollusk is univalves. They have a single shell, comprises of tails or slugs from salt water or fresh water. Example is abalone. And the last kind of mollusk is cephalopods. They have no outer shells, but just a single internal shell called a pen. Examples are octopus and squeal. The second category of shellfish is crustaceans. These are sea animals with segmented shells and jointed legs. They have shells that act as shield. They turn color red in color when cooked, which is much desirable for shellfish. Examples are shrimps, crabs, also lobsters and prawns. Here is the external anatomy of fish. Focus on the body shape of the fish, the head, and the fins. Body shape. Generally, fish are torpedo shaped, with rounded nose, a thicker middle, and tapered tail. Fish with round bodies are good swimmers. Fish with shorter bodies can turn quickly. Head. The fish has its mouth, nostrils, and gill cover. The gills allow the fish to breathe. It supplies the fish with oxygen. Keep that in mind. Scales. It is a protective covering of fish that prevents injury or disease and also indicates age. It protects the fish from its environment. Lateral line. It helps the fish detect vibration, sensors, and helps them to find food and to navigate to avoid predators. See how amazing God is to design such creatures. Fins help the fish swim specially with the balance and turning. It may also serve as protection against predators. Each fin on a fish is designed to perform specific function. For example, dorsal fin, Ventral fin and anal fin are for stability in swimming. Petrol fin allows fish to dive and stay in one spot. Pelvic fin helps the fish to move up, down, and turn. Tail fin helps the fish to propel. And caudal fin is the main propelling fin. Are you enjoying the lesson? That's great! 
Now to continue, fish and shellfish contain high quality protein and other essential nutrients and are important part of a healthy diet. In fact, a well-balanced diet that includes a variety of fish and shellfish can contribute to heart health and aids in children's proper growth and development. Fish has very little connective tissues. It means, number one, fish cooks very quickly, even at low heat. Number two, fish is naturally tender. High heat will result in toughening of protein. Three, most heat methods are used not to create tenderness, but to preserve moistness and provide variety. Number four, cooked fish must be handled very carefully. Also, keep in mind that there are types of fish. Number one, fat fish, those that are high in fat. They have a fat content between 10 to 25 percent. Examples are salmon. Another is tuna. The other one is mackerel and trout. Another type is limbfish. They are fish that are low in fat. They have less than 5% fat content, and they are also called white fish. Examples are sole, cod. Another is red snapper and sea bass. All right, let's move forward. It's important to recognize the kind of fish that we're going to prepare and cook so that we can identify what cooking methods are suitable to prevent overcooked and undercooked. Overcooking of seafood can cause loss of flavor and nutritive value. Undercooked seafood can lead to food poisoning. You can purchase fish in many forms at your local fish market. Here are the following. Number one, all or round. They are completely intact as caught. It refers to the entire fish. It has the shortest shelf life because the internal organs or viscera are not yet removed. Number two, drawn. Fish that have their gills and entrails or viscera removed. Three, dressed. Viscera, scales, head, tail, and fins removed. Number four, steaks. Cross section slices, each containing a section of backbone. Number five, fillets, boneless side of fish with or without skin. Fillet is a French word meaning a thread or strip. Number six, butterfly fillets, both sides of fish still joined but with bones removed. I believe this one also is your favorite. Am I right? Okay. Our very own Dying Patapus is one of the favorite delectable Filipino seafood dish in the country. Number seven, sticks or crunches, cross-section slices of fillets. They are small, leftover pieces of fish that are pressed together to form fish sticks. Knowing how you choose fresh seafood such as shellfish is an important skill in cookery. Unless you have caught the seafood yourself, you really have no way of knowing exactly how fresh it is. But buying fresh seafood is easy if you know what to look for. Here are the tips on choosing fresh seafood. Characteristics of shellfish. Number one, for mollusks, oysters have rough, irregular shells. The flesh of oyster is extremely soft and delicate. Bad oysters are dry and withered with a cloudy appearance. Contaminated oysters tend to be gray, brown, black, or pink in color. Hard shell clams can be eaten raw. Soft shell clams are called steamers because the usual way to cook them is to steam. Mussels or tahong are yellow to orange in color and feel but tender when cooked. What happens if you eat a bad or contaminated mussels? 
after eating contaminated clumps of muscles, you will most likely experience nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. So please be careful in buying shellfish. Scallops are creamy white in color and have a sweet flavor. Squid is chewy and are cut up or either fried quickly. For crustaceans, lobster shell is dark green or bluish green that turns red when cooked. Why crustaceans change color when cooked? In lobster, crab, and shrimp, however, a pigment called astaxanthin lies hidden, camouflaged by a protein covering. Because these protein chains are not yet stable, their protein wrapping uncoils as soon as crustaceans are put in boiling water. Red-orange astaxanthin molecules are released. Live lobster must be alive when cooked. You would ask why? Lobster and other shellfish have harmful bacteria naturally present in their flesh. Once the lobster is dead, these bacteria can rapidly multiply and release toxins that may not be destroyed by cooking. Therefore, you minimize the chance of food poisoning by cooking the lobster alive. For market forms of shellfish, number one, mollusks can be purchased live in the shell. Next, shocked, either fresh or frozen. Shellfish have had the meat removed from the shell. We can also buy shellfish in can. Remember, it's always important to check the best before or use by dates when buying canned food. Crustaceans are sold in the market fresh and alive. Keep in mind that the fresher the seafood, the healthier and more flavorful they are. Crustaceans are also sold in the market as cooked, either fresh or frozen. All right, I'm sure that you learned so much today, right? Okay, that's good. So let's have a short read. It's identification. Here's the directions. Identify the words that describe the following statements. Choices are provided for you. You may type your answers on the comment box below or you may write them on your activity notebook. Let's begin with number one. Your five seconds starts now. If your answer is delayed, then you get it right. For number two, your timer starts now. If your answer is guilt, you are correct. Good job for number three. Your timer starts now. If your answer is malas, then you are correct. For number four, your timer starts now. If your answer is shellfish, that's exactly right. Last, number five, your timer starts now. If your answer is crustaceans, you are correct. Well done, my dear students. I hope you enjoyed a lot. And now, to sum up today's learnings, I would like you to complete these statements. I know, I apply, I share. I'll give you mine. I know the different market forms of seafood. I apply the proper use of kitchen tools and equipment in preparing and cooking seafoods. I share the importance of preparing various market forms of seafood to my family. 
for your assignment. Enumerate the different ways in checking freshness of fish and shellfish. Again, don't forget to coordinate with your respective teachers for more information and guidance. To end this day's session, I would like to read you our verse of the day. From Corinthians chapter 16, verse 14, which says, Do everything in love. Again, according to our dear Senator Win Gachalian, sa ating pagtutulungan, may pagpapatuloy ang ligtas at dekalidad na edukasyon para sa kabataang Pilipino. Once again, I'm a Felicita and Amor. Thank you. Goodbye and God bless us all.